Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing with Sports. And boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Uh, Anthony Joshua may have just lucked himself into a forthcoming victory when he rematches Alexander Yusik. The thing is this, people. Alexander Yusik is, was going through a very tough time. As most of you know, he was home in Ukraine and defending his country. While there, now I, I used to be in the military. Uh, never fought in a war or been in the capacity, anything like what he's going through. Been through a lot of, you know, different military exercises and stuff like that. I have been deployed. But what I can tell you is, when you're, you're, you're in those scenarios, you're not eating tuna fish. You're not eating things high in protein. You don't have a nutritionist there. So you can't maintain the type of diet that you need to perform at the optimal level as a professional athlete needs, especially as a boxer. So when he's out there deep in the trenches and has on all of his protective equipment, weapons and his life or death defending it against the Russians he is probably just getting the bare minimum whatever he has time to eat a little bit whatever they have because you know they were just really without a lot of food um, getting whatever fluids he can drink and what whatever he was able to whatever kind of whatever way he was able to nourish his nourish his body but as a result, Yusik lost 20 plus pounds uh, while defending his country. Now that he's back in training, he has an uphill battle, in my opinion, because he now has to figure out a way in his camp to not only train, to, to, to get sharp, to do the sparring, but to also put weight on at the same time. Not sure he'll be able to put 20 pounds of muscle back on by July, May, June, July. Um, that could definitely affect his mobility. It could definitely make him a little sluggish. And it could definitely put Joshua at an advantage. Because Joshua hasn't gone through what Yusik has gone through over the last few months. Nothing remotely close, probably ever in his life. Now Joshua, the thing we need to understand about Anthony Joshua, okay, it's not his fault with everything that happened with um, with Yusuf. It's not, it's not Anthony Joshua's fault. But stars just line up like that sometimes. Now Joshua is going to do what he has to do when he gets in the ring. Now the number one thing I think AJ needs to do now that he has the rematch and it look, looks like it's going to be taking place in July, and he knows that he has a weight-drained opponent who's going to be struggling just to get his training going, somehow stay mentally healthy, and put weight back on. I think Joshua needs to make sure that he doesn't come in there weight-trained either. 240 pounds is not great for Anthony Joshua. That's where he went wrong in the first fight. Why in the world... Would you come down to 240 pounds and try to box with the boxer? You, he has no business in the center of the ring with Yusik. Try to outbox him. Stupid. And that's why he almost got knocked out in that fight. Absolutely foolish. Now, when you think about Anthony Joshua and his heaviest career weights, he was at 254 pounds when he fought Carlos Takam. He knocked him out in 10 rounds. 250 pounds when he fought Vladimir Klitschko, TKO in 11. He was 249.5 pounds when he fought Gary Cornish, knocked him out in the first round. 249 pounds when he fought Eric Molina, knocked him out in the third round. 248.5 pounds when he fought Kevin Johnson, knocked him out in the second round. And 248 pounds when he fought Rafael Zambrano, and knocked him out in the second round. So what that tells you is, 
the sweet spot in regards to the weight for Anthony Joshua is right around 250, 248, 250. Once he started going above that or dropping below that, I think that's where his, his, you see a, a slight diminishing of his performance. And he's going to need that coming into this fight. He's going to have to control the real estate. He's going to have to, 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 to control Usyk. And he's going to have to out-muscle him, out-power him, and just, you know, let his hands go and just try to get him out of there. He has to dominate him. He can't let the smaller Usyk get on that bike, move, lateral movement, side to side, in and out angles, and outbox him. Plus, Usyk is a southpaw, and it did, obviously, southpaws can give you a problem, but an extremely highly skilled athletic southpaw can be nightmares for someone, especially if you're fighting his fight. And when I think about Anthony Joshua and the relationship between him and Rob McCracken, they, they, they got to figure something out because the only way for AJ to lose this fight again is if he fights Usyk's fight, and um, which is going to make Usyk look ex superior to him once again. So they had the wrong game plan in the first fight, the second game plan, the second fight, hopefully they advised a much better strategy game plan that will definitely play to Joshua's strengths, attributes, and advantages. Because that first fight, that wasn't the answer. And when Joshua did land hard shots and look good is when he was being the aggressor and coming forward. But now I think Anthony Joshua, he learned from his first fight when Andrew Ruiz came back strong. I think he'll learn from his first fight with Usyk. And I'm not saying him he's going to be able to just come back the way he did against Ruiz because Usyk is a different animal. But with Usyk, with all the weight loss and all the, sh the different stresses he has on his mind. He can't, I don't think, I know for a fact, right? I normally don't talk in absolutes, but it's impossible for Yusuf to come into that fight 100% mentally healthy because you can't leave your mind behind. It's impossible for him to leave his mind behind. Now, when he gets in that ring, he can be focused, of course. But I don't care what you say, you can't leave your mind behind. And Yusuf would be in a much better space if this war had never taken place. It's not just about him, his wife, his children, his family. Yusuf cares about all of his countrymen. And they that's just not what he wants. So now that you know he's received the support from his countrymen, go out there and win. That could will him to victory. But it's just easier said than done. That's like saying Anthony Joshua this fight, if he goes back and works on his boxing skills, he can come to this fight and outbox Usyk. Easier said than done. Uphill battle for Usyk, in my opinion. Um, but Joshua may make it easy on him by coming in there with a bogus game plan. But 20 pounds of weight weight loss, that's, and, and it wasn't, it's not that it, that was a planned weight loss. That's just from being out there type of hours this man had to be up and getting rest when you can, just you know, being on patrol, moving around to different areas. Um, like I said, you know, you're not sitting out eating five to six times a day around the clock. It's not how it was. Um, it's very unfortunate, but I'm not rooting for either, either fighter. But I, I will say, I think AJ has a great chance of getting his titles back just because of Usyk's circumstances. And I wish it was something different, but it is what it is. And I'm just calling it like I see it. But I do think Usyk is disciplined enough and strong-minded enough to come into that ring and know he has a job to do. And also for him to know coming into that ring, winning again, returning home with the belts, uh, would do so much for his fellow countrymen. It's going to be uh, harder. It's, going to, it's easier said than done. But um, absolutely amazing. You know, it's always something. Always something, man. That's like Andy Ruiz, which he his goal was to lose weight. He fought. Andy Ruiz, Andy Ruiz obviously fights better fat. You look at him when he lost that weight and fought Chris Ariola. Andy Ruiz, like his punch resistance, uh, resistance went down. He didn't look good in that fight. It looked like he was just throwing the same combination, man. You know, 
you know, one, two hook, you know, one, two, three, one, two, three. Sometimes you throw a hook, right hand, but it was it was just the same combination. And he was getting the job done, but Andy Ruiz didn't look that spectacular. He wasn't throwing off the 10, 12, 14 punch combination we used to see. He looked slowed down, you know, lifting the weights and everything. People, that's just, if you're a boxer, extremely lightweight, high, high reps it is, is okay. But, you know, when you start getting to lifting all that heavy weight, that's, that's, and although he's a, he's a, you know, 200 something plus pound fighter, that's just not something that you need. You know, that, that hurts you more than gives you an advantage. I think it's good for strength and stuff like that, but as far as your speed, as far as getting the full extension on your punches, I think when you start lifting weights, you know, you start, you start to hurt yourself in those areas. And, and that's what happened with Ruiz. And so we're talking about people losing weight. That's the same thing with AJ. And with Usyk losing that kind of weight, I think it could uh, definitely be an issue if he's not able to put the weight on healthy. Um, because Joshua did hurt him in that fight too, but he just wasn't able to capitalize. But if Usyk is not where he needs to be as far as his weight, and he comes in that ring, and Anthony, Anthony Joshua's had a full training camp, he's been healthy, mentally he's there, um, it, it just, it just, the fight's going to be very interesting. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll see how everything plays out. The fight's right around the corner. July will be here before you know it. Usyk looking uh, real slim. Look at his cheekbones. Look at it. Look at his skull. Look at how streamlined his face is. Like there's no meat. Like you can look. He's 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 already been a, a slim guy, but look at his face. It looks sunken in, and he already had the crazy eyes. But you can see that he lost he lost a lot of weight, and you can see it in his face. Extremely narrow. Extremely narrow. But anyway, man, good luck to Usyk. I hope he can get his stuff together. Uh, it's going to be a great fight. But I think this is AJ's best chance to, to win those titles back. And um, and then going forward, maybe we can finally get AJ and Fury. Or, you know, if Fury and AJ still can't figure it out, Wilder should be back hopefully between August and October. And then we can see AJ and Wilder get busy. Um, but who knows what's going to happen. That being said... Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Shout out to all the veterans. And as always, I'm in the breeze.